ladies and gents are we live welcome to another video and um today i'm actually going to do a little something here because a lot of people have actually been complaining to me these past few days asian robot frost escalation's too hard uh i'm not able to find a party for frost escalation i can't solo it help me you know it's so difficult let me show you something i'm going to show you all how to do this very easily I'm even going to do it with level 8 chain blades to compensate for all the buffs that I get in Frost Escalation. So I'll do it solo with level 8 chain blades, okay? This is my easy chain blade build. You recognize it because it is the one that I published. It is the exact same one that I've published with Tempest, of course. Um, and uh, as I mentioned before, it will work with uh, Iceborne as well. You could, you could easily do that. But Tempest, of course, is the choice that I will make here. Um, and what you are going to see me do, all right, is I'm going to take this easy chain blade into the frost escalation 10 to 50 solo and we're going to beat it, okay? So you don't have to do it at level 8, all right? Oops, sorry. That was an old image. You don't have to do it at level 8. You can do, you can start this at level 16. Go and start this at level 16, but build my builds. If you don't have an easy, the easy chain blade build, what's stopping you? It's free. It's available out there. Go build my easy chain blade build 2.0. And just, just watch this, okay? No tonics, no tricks, nothing. Okay? You see, the thing, you know, and I love answering questions. I love talking to you guys. I love speaking to the community. But everyone in the community, I feel at times, doesn't take what I say seriously. I don't know who you're listening to out there. Maybe some other uh, random dung beetle that has, you know, two brain cells that they barely rub together. But if you are a proper Asian robot player, first of all, get my build. Second, Avatar of Destruction. Do you see this on my screen? Take this. Okay. As you can see, no potions or tonics consumed. All right. You've got the Avatar of Destruction. Now this is where the fun begins. Okay. Let me show you how this is done. Oh, a scary lightbound Koshai. I only have level 8 chain blades. Whatever will I do? The Frost Escalation, FYI, even with the easiest of builds, contains so many buffs that, um, you know, smashing through it is absolutely possible. And considering that the easy chain blade build has infinite spin attack, well, now it does anyway, with the new one from 2.0, it has the infinite spin attack, you can super take advantage of anything that might come your way. And nothing is going to hurt you either. Okay, do you see how that works? Now, of course, you are going to have a little bit of skill. Okay, you're going to need a little bit of skill when you do this. But there you go. Do you see my frost meter not budging? <clears throat> if you still have problems with this... Like I said, start at level 16 so that you have an advantage against behemoths. If it's your first time touching a frost escalation, start at weapon level 16. And if you haven't ever done a frost escalation, please, for God's sake, go to the 1 to 13 frost escalation, the easy frost, the normal frost escalation. Get at least <clears throat> 5 to 10 talent points in the escalation and follow my talent build. Have you watched my video on uh, the various talent trees for the Escalation? If you haven't, go watch that video because that'll show you exactly what I've got here and how I'm doing this at level 8. Follow the talents, follow the builds. All the information that you ever need is out there. Now, pop quiz, who do we kill first? Well, of course, it's going to be the Drask. Why? Because I said so. That and the Nene is no threat, really. I mean, it's a bit of a threat, but, you know, we can, we can deal with his brand of threatening so <laughs> crit builds would make this easier but even without a critical build with just pulse alone We're having an easy time, see? 
As long as you've got an Asian robot build, and keep in mind, I'm level 8. No tonics have been consumed. I'm even pausing combat just to show you. No tonics have been consumed. It's it, that it's that easy. What are you even worried about? Alright. If you've got tonics on top of that, you are in a very good position. So, like I always say, what are you even worried about, hmm? Trust in the Asian robot way. I cannot help you if you do not trust in the Asian robot way. Alright, you can you can worship whatever fools you want to worship. Alright, you can say that other creators are not liars, that they're not fools or whatnot, but uh plain and simple, I deliver results. Look ma, one-handed. What's the problem? Really, ladies and gents, what's the problem? Why do you need to tell me, uh, will any anyone need to accompany me on this or whatever? No, 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 you don't need anybody. Level 8. FYI. Could probably do this at level 6. In fact, Frost Escalation, did you know that, uh, assuming you've done it before, it can actually be done at level 1, assuming you've got all talent points. Of course, I won't show you that because that's stupid, but I'm just using level 8 to, to show you guys that even at a low level, with all the buffs, now because I have all the talents in the Frost Escalation tree, FYI again, Please follow my video. I made a video showing the talents of all the different escalations. Follow that religiously and you'll never go wrong. If you follow that, and you follow the principles that I've taught you, and you have a proper Asian robot build. Remember, FYI, this is the easy Asian robot chain blade 2.0, all right? You'll never go wrong and you'll never have a problem. Again, I cannot help you if you guys choose not to follow my information religiously. If you choose not to, there's nothing I can do. Oh no, I've taken damage. How sad. Whatever will I do? This is so dangerous now. Like I said, I'm not doing this to show you that you have to do this at level 8. I'm doing this to show you that it can be done. Alright. No tonics consumed, once again. I'm doing this because I need you to see that if you have the proper build, if you have, you know, a decent level of practice, you will never lose. But you need to learn the builds, you need to learn the ways. If you do not learn the ways, you do not learn the builds. <laughs> Don't show up to any streams, you just, uh, you just decide for yourself, oh, shit doesn't work, I need help. That is not how this works. If that is the case, then just pay for my help, I'll help you. You pay for my time, I will get you through anything. You Did you know that you can hire me? My rate is very simple, $30 an hour. Alright, you've got the money, I've got the time for you. Plain and simple, you can hire me to do anything, FYI, while I'm playing Dauntless. $30, that's what it will cost you. But if you don't want to do that, then you've got to learn the techniques, you've got to learn the skills. So, learn them. Alright, Shroud and Nasha. Ooh, I'm level 8, whatever will I do? I'm in such danger. Right? Such danger. And FYI, it's okay to fail. It's okay to miss. You know, you die. That's okay. Revive. Okay, failure is how you learn to succeed. Nobody succeeds from day one. If they did, they would be some kind of god. And even if they brag to you that they succeeded on day one, believe me, everyone makes mistakes. So don't fall for that stupid trap. Look. Boom, Nash is down. Now we focus on Crowboy. What's 
Metacrobellus. Make sure to use the effects like that one. It gives you warmth, right? As long as you stay in the shield and can also reduce your... It can also reduce your frostbite if you step through it. Do you guys understand the process? It's very easy. I'm your crits. Play as I've shown you and as I've demonstrated many times. And lo and behold, we are at level 9. And still doing perfectly fine. And now, the big thing. You don't just want to kill the Urska, you want to snap some parts, right? Okay, we're going to use Tempest for that. Let's have some fun. Do 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 do. Now when it comes to the Erska, if I want to snap apart, and again, no potions involved in this, okay? Nay potions, keep an eye on my buffs because they will not be increasing. Okay, for this fight, I will keep my webcam off because why? It's just so easy. And I want you to see me do this without potions, okay? I whack the little shields, I've even wasted my special, why? Because I've got no intention of killing this guy early. Focus on the place that you want to break. Get your temper stored up. And then use it. It does quite an obscene amount of part damage, so... You will usually not have trouble. If you feel your frostbite, you know, rising, just use the effects. Like, whatever that is. The shield, whatnot. Go a little ham. Go a little ham. But if you focus on the path that you want to break, you will rarely ever have a problem. Okay, look, there we go, broken four paw. Yeah? I don't know how none of those counted as dodges, but that's okay. I guess you could say it's even a little dodgy. Now, smash the other hand. Ooh, I took a hit. How dangerous. Now, please keep in mind that I'm doing this with close to flawless play. You don't have to. Like I said, you don't have to be level 8 like me when you're coming into this. I'm not telling you to be level 8 to actually do any of this. Uh, I'm, just remind I'm just showing you that it can be done. Okay, look. This little orange shield. Take it. It'll, keep it'll help keep your frostbite low. See, there's another one. Go take it. You've got the mobility in the build. You've got the tools you need. Use them. Now he's going up top. Oh, he's going to do the big bad body drop on us. And we took damage from that, but we're okay, right? Oh no, I died. Okay, there we go. There's another four paw. And I think I'm done playing around with him. I've got the paws I need. If I need to break his face, I'll do that next time. Do, 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 do. But anyway, you understand the principle, don't you? Focus on the part you want to break. Ah, there we go, Saber Fang 2. Oh, he's dead. Okay, well that's sad. And I get a little bit of space program at the end. Okay? So there, level 9 chain blades done. Soloed Frost Escalation. Yes, I have the Escalation Talent Tree buffs. Yes. 
but you have them available to you too. It's not my fault if you don't watch the videos. So please, in summary, for your sake, I'm going to summarize this. Number one, get yourself an Asian robot build. Number two, watch my video on the Frost Escalation Town Tree. Number three, attempt it at a higher level if you're not confident. Or if you don't have any escalation buffs, please attempt it at a higher level. You don't have to feel constrained by, you know, oh, I must do it this way, I must do it that way. This, look, how to solo Frost Escalation with an easy build. All right? Asian robot style. Okay? Very simple. You don't have to be level 8. You should be level 16. If you don't have the same skills as I do, be at level 16. Be at level 18. What's the recommended level? Let's, let's take a quick look. What's the recommended level for a Frost Escalation 10 to 50? The recommended level is 18. Go be at the recommended level if you cannot solo it at my level. But if you have an Asian robot build, life is easy. I've proven it here. Okay? So good. I'm glad that we've uh, established that. If you want to support my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support us further, drop a tip via the link in the description of the video. Send super thanks on YouTube. You can join as a channel member, gaining access to various perks. And I do recommend the honored membership. And last but not least, you can drop by the stream and send super chats. I'll wrap for you. Okay? July's top supporters, Bravo7910, Kazmanta, my lovely girl, Zabu Zumaki, The Mighty Zeno, Death Dawning 982, Miss Eve, Oh Mr. Cream Puff, Daniel Tiddy, Noisy, Matt Bradio, Rogue Assassin, Anarchy Inc., Nate the Great, River Archer124, CJ on Pluto, Wolfstar Hard, Jordan Shelton, Alfonsi Minerni, Jake Unra, Horitoshi, Luminous Hilt, and Kai. Thank you very much. And of course, we have the Throne of Honor. These are our top channel members, Miss Eve and MJ Riffle at the only fan level. Death Dawning 982 at Plus Ultra, Joshua Moritz, Matt Brudeo, Stephen Martin, Jerry Fast, The Forgotten, Nate the Great, Rogue Assassin, Oh Mr. Cream Puff, Zach and FG at Prestige. Thank you guys so much for being amazing. I will see your beautiful faces next time. Okay, remember, Asian robot builds are the only way to succeed. Number two, follow the videos. We have plenty of resources for you. Okay, see you on the next one.